Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys the weekly soul connection reading. And so today is Sunday, so we are going to be focusing on the energies which start tomorrow, which is Monday, November 25th, going all the way until Sunday, December 1st. So soul connections can be twin flames, soulmate, however you resonate with the person. The point is you have a soul connection with someone. I am breaking up the energies this week with these two organites that you see in front of you. This is the Archangel Raphael healing organite, and that's going to be for number one and number two is the Archangel Michael Tough as Nails Organite and these are both created by Wing and Bell. I will put them down below. So um, my intention for number one is going to be for those of you that are experiencing maybe some minor challenges with your particular person and maybe you guys do have some back and forth communication right now. Maybe you guys are just on a little bit of a small break um, but your ultimate intention is to work through this connection and ultimately come back together. Number two is a little bit different. Number two you may have been connected to this person for a while experiencing major challenges, separation, no contact, that sort of thing. Maybe there's a lot of big things that are standing in the way of you and this person coming back together. And you're just really working on yourself and allowing your partner to do the same thing. And maybe you guys will come back together, um, you know, and you're just really not super focused on that, just more or less focused on healing. So do you see how both energies are a little bit different? And so just pick and choose however it resonates with you this week, okay? And everything that I'm using will be down below. Any of the decks that I'm using that are mine will be available in my Etsy shop. If you guys are international, email me and I'll send you a special link. As far as the bracelet that I'm using today, it is the Love Me Tender by rising sun oracle so i'll put her down below as well let's get started you guys the very first thing that we're going to focus on here is number one so timestamps will be down below number one the archangel raphael healing heart organite for those of you that are in minor challenges and difficulties ultimate ultimate goal is to come back together with this individual so let's see what is their overall energy this week and how are they being influenced so we're going to go into my spirits of darkness and light divination deck for this what is your person the person that you're watching this video for this week what is their overall energy this week let's take a look your person's overall energy okay so we have the spirit of travel journey relocation and moving on so that can be mean a variety of things. Now, of course, we do have Thanksgiving for those that celebrate. So it's a holiday type of uh, energy. Perhaps people are traveling. They're going different places to visit family and friends, that sort of thing. It could even be that some people are moving at this particular time or literally they're just moving on um, to the next phase of their life. Maybe they're relocating for work or a job or maybe they're just kind of tired and done and stagnant and they just don't really want to stay put. And so they're just traveling the world. So there's this energy here for the person that you're watching the video for, that they're definitely on the move, they're on their own journey, they might be discovering something, things like that. So let's now take a look and see where is their energy at with you at this particular time, okay? How is that fitting into their life and how are they experiencing your energy this week? So the two decks that we're going to use, this one is called the Begin Within Divine Partnership deck, and we're going to combine it with the My Spiritual Love Tarot. So I'll put them down below. So what is the energies that this person is holding towards you this week? Even though they're on the move, even though they might be just kind of doing their own thing right now. Let's see how they're feeling you. Okay. So we're just going to put that like that. We're going to get a topic here. Mental space. We have balance. And we have the energy of the magician. Okay, so what I'm getting from this immediately, I really feel like your person is kind of focused on their self right now. And it's not necessarily a selfish energy, but it is to gain some sort of balance. The magician card is all about being aware of our own energies and what we're doing and our actions in the world. And so this person is trying to gain some sort of balance perhaps with their own energy at this particular time. So when it comes to you and this connection, when they're thinking about it, they might be trying to gain some sort of balance or awareness of maybe their actions or what they wanna do where they're going, etc. Okay, so there's that type of an energy. What's happening in their emotions or their heart space towards you in this connection? We have the energy of harvest. And we have the energy of Eight of Cups. Okay, so this is what I want to tell you guys. Okay, so the Eight of Cups is a card of moving on. It literally says moving on here and it says moving on there. But I do see the Eight of Cups, yes, as somebody who might be 
relocating or walking away, but it is for evolution purposes. So this is something that if someone is withdrawing from you or they're taking a little bit of a break or you guys aren't spending as much time together as you once were, allow this to happen. Why? Because this is an energy of harvest. This is actually going to help to reap rewards later on. So allow people to go and discover who they are. This actually came up in a reading that I just posted today. It was just my six card spread. I post it uh, daily now on um, YouTube as well as as Instagram. This actually really reminds me of that. So that might resonate with you guys. If someone is trying to either disconnect or take some space or time, allow this to happen because that is a journey of the self. And the only way that we can truly know who we are is by going on that journey and, and giving people the time and freedom that they need in order to do that. And when we're feeling good on our own, then that means that we're making decisions that are true for ourselves. So this is an energy that says that even if somebody is just kind of withdrawn right now, maybe detached with moving moving on or kind of relocating, that doesn't mean that the harvest in their heart is, you know, it, it, like it's not going to, it's going to continue to flourish is my point. This energy is still going to be with them. So try not to fear so much. This person is trying to balance out their own energies at this time. Okay. So let's take a look and see what's going on in their environment. We have the energy of different paths. Okay. So there's something about, uh, you know, moving and walking and, and it's a certain path right now. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles, do you see how this particular card shows um, something that's locked up? Okay. Something that's locked up, something that seems to not really be making any progress, but it is, there is progression here, but it's slow. It's slow and steady. So right now, I'm getting here that you and your person are just on different paths in life right now. They might need to go down a different path at this time, but that path doesn't necessarily mean that you'll never see them again. That path doesn't mean that you guys can't come back together at a later time when maybe they're more evolved in their emotions or they're more evolved as a person. So welcome this energy, welcome this evolution. Okay. Try not to put this person on lock and hold. Let them go is what I'm getting here from spirit today. Okay. And soul energy towards you in this connection. Yeah. Oh, I love this. This is an energy that this is like a gift, a gift that you're giving this person that will be really well received is you letting them go to find themselves, to figure things out, to balance their energies out is actually going to be felt as a gift. It's a spiritual gift. It's a very beautiful energy. You guys, when we try to hold on to somebody, we try to lock them down. It actually makes them resent you know, you even more it actually repels them and makes people want to run in the opposite direction. Okay. Oh my God. Look at this. You guys, two of cups. This is what they receive from you. They receive unconditional love. They receive true love, divine love. They see you as a person that truly does love them because you're willing to let them do what they need to do. And this isn't going to be for those of you that are just, you know, somebody's got a, um, somebody's with someone else or they've got you in a third party situation. It's not about that kind of energy, you guys, where you're just letting them just do their thing and coming back and forth between you and them. No, absolutely not. I'm speaking to people today that their person needs some time and space to figure things out for whatever reason. And even if they are with someone else at this time, you're allowing them that time and space that they need without that type of, um, you know, attached energy, stressful energy, pushy energy, make a decision, figure it out. We're allowing people to receive the healing and the balance that they need on their own. So the overall message for some reason, whoever's watching this video about your partner today is let them go because the energy that they actually continue to feel in the soul level with you is two of cups. It ain't going anywhere. So try not to fear so much that you're going to lose somebody just because you let them go to discover who they truly are and to heal. That is a beautiful message. You guys, I love it. I'm seriously in love with that message. So let's now go ahead and take a look and see uh, where your energy is at. I'm not sure why I put this deck away, but let me just go ahead and reshuffle the energies here. Okay. Cause now we're going to be focusing on you at this particular time. Let me reshuffle these energies. We're going to be focusing on you and where you're at. Okay. Where are you at right now? And where's the other deck? Okay, here we go. So this is your overall energy your overall energy person watching the video. Oh my gosh. I love it. Oh my God. I I'm just, I just like want to cry right now because the messages are so beautiful. Do you see this gift? Okay. This is the gift that you're giving. Look at this. 
you're in the spirit of Saint Nicholas. This is beautiful because of course, this is this time of year. Gifts, generosity, assistance. Like literally, this is the gift that you are giving your person this week. You're giving the gift because you love them because there's unconditional love here, you guys. Oh my God. All right, so let's just go ahead and see what kind of energy you might be holding on to. Some of this might be somewhat uh, dark, who knows, um, but we're working through it. That's what I'm getting here. What is the mental energy that you have tied up with this person? Oh, look at this introspection, really thinking, uh, really taking the time to look inside yourself. Oh my God, the nine of pentacles. Again, this is a card of self independence, letting people be independent for their own self care, going solo for a period of time. Look at this, you guys. So you're, you're really trying to take a good look in the mirror and just really see this person for what they need and maybe what you need and what your connection needs. This is definitely an energy of giving this week. You are assisting not only your person, but you're also assisting yourself and this connection. It's really beautiful, you guys. What's happening in the heart space? Oh my gosh. The heart space. Do you see this? It's this train. And then we have this beautiful kingdom and this beautiful castle. Your dream is with insight. You know it in your heart space. Even if you let them go, even if things are not coming together at this moment, you know that your dream is still within sight. You feel it in your heart space and you know, oh my God. I'm sorry, guys, I keep saying this. You know that this change and this ending is just a transition. It's not really over. So you guys are really understanding this week that certain things just need to transform. There needs to be a death in order for there to be a rebirth. And you're getting on board with that this week. In your heart space, you absolutely know this is what has to happen. Whoa. All right, so let's take a look at the outer world here, the 3D energy here. Okay, so we have the energy of victim. And we have the energy of fool, okay? So this right here is an energy of starting fresh and starting new, a fool's energy, okay? So taking a risk. But guess what? Taking this risk risks act activates some, or wow taking this risk activates something within your connection in the physical world people can break away out of this victim mentality so something may have happened to this connection where people are really feeling like victims but they're tired of being in this victim state they no longer want to blame their partner for their feelings they don't they no longer want to blame their person for their inactivity of being able to start fresh and start new and to activate things that they want to activate so what i'm getting here is you're taking back your power this week, you're letting your person do their thing and you're taking back your own power. You're no longer wanting to stay in this energy of being a victim by the circumstances of other people. That's the environmental energy. What is the soul energy this week that you have tied up with them? Cosmic synergy. Oh my God. Okay. I just dropped the cards all over the place, but I'm not going to be using this deck again. So that's okay. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get this this um, connective energy. Oh my God, so so much awareness this week, you guys, that you have about your connection. Realizing this this connection between the two of you, it's synergy. You guys are co-creating with this connection. So you realize that you need your person to evolve so your connection can evolve. And it will not evolve and it will not heal or improve unless, unless you let this person do what they need to freaking do. So you're no longer willing to stay tied in a lower vibrational state anymore with this person. You're allowing them to receive the assistance that they need. And it may be that they are needing some sort of assistance from outer sources that you are not in charge of. Other lessons, other experiences. So we let our person go with unconditional love, knowing that we can't provide all of their lessons or even all of their happiness. That's nobody's job in this world to do. So you're letting go this week and you're getting so much clarity and insight understanding. You're literally burning away old concepts, any kind of games or manipulation, anything that you're trying to do. You're just literally letting go and you're allowing the cosmic energies to take over and literally co-create within this connection. This is so amazing. Oh, all right. I'm going to stop being annoying now. So let's now take a look and see what, where's the connection at right now when it comes to the blocks, like what's brewing, what are the blocks, what are the lessons, what are the things that just as a connection you guys are working through this week, what needs to be understood. So let's start off with my twin flame shadow. So this is the both of you, both you and your person. What is, a, what is a shadow this week or a lesson? Okay, so we have the energy of vengeful. Again, we can be stuck in an energy of what someone's done 
and want to blame and want to hold them accountable and want to seek revenge. Absolutely. But the thing is, I feel like a lot of you guys have either already let that go. So you're starting to realize that that energy isn't getting you anywhere. Okay. And of course, this goes for your partner as well. What's brewing? What are the energies that are brewing in this connection? Let's take a look. This right here is the What's Brewing deck by Fire Witch Tarot. So we're going to get three cards on this one. Oh, we have Burning Evidence. This Okay, this is kind of interesting, you guys. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just going to keep saying it. <laughs> Burning Evidence evidence okay it does say burning evidence that could be something significant but that we have this trash and the trash has a fire all three of these cards are connected to me this is telling me here that we are burning away old concepts that are outdated that no longer serve these are old ideas old news it, it whatever whatever we've been doing whatever we've been trying to do it's not working so we come to this awareness and this mental clar uh, clarity and epiphany, perhaps, this week. And it's really setting in that if you love something, you have to set it free. Okay, that's the energy. We can be pissed all day long, but all that energy is doing is it's just holding us hostage. It's keeping us stuck. It's actually not holding this person hostage. And if it is, it's holding them, them hostage in the wrong way. It's holding them tied to you in the wrong way. So why not let them go? If they want to come back, it'll be of their own decision to come back and revisit this connection or to choose you. What a beautiful thing. It's beautiful. So that is the energy, you guys. So this is what's happening as far as lessons. Outdated, old ways of thinking, things that no longer serve. We're getting rid of this energy. We're burning it away and we're coming through. And we're working together with this connection rather than working against it. You guys, do you see this vengeful energy, this lower vibrational energy only works against your connection. It doesn't help it. So we're, we're coming to that clarity this week. So your partner, of course, could be doing the same. I don't know why everything is falling. Um, your partner is doing the same. They're getting rid of old things that no longer serve. So again, let them. And if that means that they have to continue to stay, you know, uh, disconnected from you or to walk away for a period of time, you got to let them do their thing. You got to let them clear up their life, their energy. So what is their higher self's message to you at this particular time? What do they want you to know? What does your person want you to know from their higher self? So this one is actually created by Aqua Moonlight. A lot of you guys are familiar with her work and channel. So this is called the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle. So let's go ahead and get some energies that this person wants to tell you. So I'm going to get three cards and then I'm going to draw from three decks to get the message from your person's higher self to you at this time. All right. Oh, we have the energy of depth, some complexity, awareness, and importance. Farewells, goodbye, finality, and closure, and clinging, holding on, obsessing, and watching. Okay, so interesting energies, you guys. So I am feeling for this depth, this one. I am feeling for this farewell, this one. And for this one, I'm feeling this one. I don't know why I'm just feeling that. So these are my Twin Flame Messages Volume 1 and 2, and this is the Hidden Truth Oracle Cards. So let's get a message for depth. What does your person from their higher self want to tell you about something that's deep, complex, something that they're trying to become aware of, something that's important to them? What do they want to tell you from their higher self about depth? What is this energy? What do they want to tell you? <gasps> I feel too much pressure right now by anything that's too complex, that anything that's too deep. I'm, st I'm trying to gain clarity and awareness, but I feel too much pressure right now. So that might be why your, your partner is saying moving forward and saying farewell for now. Not all of you guys are getting that kind of energy, but that might be why they're, they're starting to kind of maybe fade away or disconnect. So what about this goodbye finality and closure energy? Now they might be trying to say farewell to something else, you guys. And so that's why they're asking for the space and time in order to do that your beauty still moves me even if we're not together even if let's just say I'm with somebody else even if I need to step away for a period of time your beauty and who you are still moves me and it will still continue to move me and it will move me perhaps 
back to you. That's what I'm seeing here, you guys. So despite any kind of separation or challenge right now, your partner is still going to be moved by your energy, meaning that they're going to make moves because of your energy, which only clarifies and further just I can't think of the word I want to use, but drives the point that your energy and you allowing them to do what they need to do actually matters. It actually helps your connection. You're no longer working against it. You're working for the connection. Clinging. So something about holding on, obsessing or watching. What is this message here about this? What does your person want you to know and understand at this time about this? Clinging energy. It was my fault, but I blamed you. Wow. Okay. So the thing is, that could be a specific message for whatever reason, you guys. Maybe somebody did blame you in the end. Maybe they walked away from you and they told you that you were just holding on too tight. This was too, I felt too much pressure. See, it's all coming together. I felt too much pressure, you know, blah, 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 blah. But the thing is, it really actually was them. It wasn't you, but this is the easier. This is always the easy scapegoat. When you, Whenever somebody is acting dramatic, whenever somebody is acting, um, you know, just too intense. It's always easy to shift the blame onto that action, that behavior. But really, whatever somebody's going through, it might have nothing to do with that. But that energy is an easy scapegoat. So it could be that somebody got upset about something or they were holding on too tight or they were putting too much pressure or they were needing to know when and how and if. And somebody just said, this is too much for me. I can't handle this energy right now. It's not you, it's actually them. So they're telling you, it is me, but I'm blaming you right now. So I'm sorry for doing that, but this clinging energy, it's too deep. It's too much pressure for me right now. You're lovely. I still care for you. And, and the thing is, I might need to disconnect for a little bit of time. But the thing is, who you are and your energy and your high vibrational spirit is what's going to move me back towards you. So this is a message for the person watching this video for number one to continue to stay high vibe in this energy here because this will actually help your partner to choose you later on. So it's, it's amazing. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So now let's go ahead and move into what does spirit want you to know? So what is the most important thing that spirit wants you to know or consider about this connection for its purpose and its healing currently? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go into my signs from Spirit Love Oracle. We're going to combine it with the Reclaim Your Power cards by Anthea Spark. We're going to go into When Spirit Speaks by Heather Filona, Medium on a Mission, and The Messages of Love by All Things Intuitive. So all four of those decks I want to use for a particular message with what spirit wants you to know and understand about this connection at this particular time for either its purpose or healing for you. Okay. Okay, so we have orange. The orange energy represents, of course, the sacral chakra. This card wants to pop through unconditional love. Unconditional love actually already came through, you guys, as a particular message for this connection. It really is about unconditional love. There's a lesson here in unconditional love. But the energy of orange, sacral chakra, this is the um, energy that we connect with other people. Okay, this can, of course, be sexual energy, but it's more or less how we're connecting with people intimately, relationship-wise. But it's also your own energy, where your enthusiasm comes from, where your excitement comes from, the warmth, the depth of your soul. So let's get another message here. What else do we have? So Spirit's telling you to continue to stay in high vibe energy, orange energy. Stay enthusiastic, excited, and warm. Stay in an energy of unconditional love. Okay. We have the summer. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. The summer is very warm. The summer to me is very alive. It's very happy. The sun is out. We're feeling good. We're feeling all of this orange energy. It's amazing. So again, another high vibe energy. And what is the last thing that we need to know about this connection right now? Stability. It says this relationship can stand the test of time. So Spirit wants you to know that despite what's happening here, despite somebody walking away, perhaps maybe the summer is significant as in things are going to start to come together in the summertime. Now, I know that that might seem like it's a long time away for some of you, and that doesn't mean that you won't see them or that there won't be um, any kind of energy exchange between the two of you until summer, but it could be that your, your connection is finally stabilized and going very well in the summer. 
So that is what spirit wants you guys to know today. So keep high vibe, keep your emotions stable, keep your energy stable, focus on you, have a good time right now. Hold that unconditional love for your person as they continue to find themselves, heal and strengthen themselves. I love it. All right, so let's go ahead now and we're going to end this reading with some upcoming energies, okay? Let's get the upcoming energies of this connection. We're going to be using my Twin Flame Journey Tarot and the Twin Flame Oracle that I created. So these are going to be future energies. What are the future energies of this connection? So upcoming energies that we can expect to experience maybe even see all of it. Oh, we have recognition. Somebody recognizing and seeing something through these trials and tribulations. This actually did come up in the post that I did earlier that I spoke of just a little while ago. So there is some sort of an energy that is attached to the post that I did this morning on this particular um, uh, choice, group one. Recognizing things through trials and tribulations. We got to let somebody go and find their own way. That's it. In order for them to recognize what it is that they truly want. Absolutely. And this is going to happen. So this is Spirit's way of telling us that in the future, somebody's going to recognize through these trials and tribulations. That's it. We have the energy of karmic partner. Oh, wow. Three of swords energy. Um, I almost feel like somebody's going to have to understand something uh, and they're going to go through some sort of trial and tribulation when it comes to a heartbreak and sadness through a karmic partner. Now, this is the thing. So if you guys are, um, you know, let's just say you guys right now are with someone right now, okay? But you have this connection to this individual. This is an energy here where there is some sort of a releasing of this cycle or this partnership, and that might be very heartbreaking to you, but that's what people need to do in order for people to recognize what it is that they want by going through these trials and tribulations. Your person might also be in this energy, so this is happening in the future. People are releasing. People are releasing things that no longer serve. Now, karmic partners do not have to be lovers, you guys. These can just be energies or p other people family members, friends, uh, work situations. But there's a karmic lesson and there's an energy of heart, heartache or even third party connected to it. And because of that, somebody has to release this. It's difficult to release though. And that's the problem. Somebody's having a hard time releasing a situation that no longer serves them. So it's either you, your person, or both of you. But whatever this is, it's like cycling through it once and for all brings number 10. So 10 of wands would of course be the end of the cycle. So there's still a cycle that's at hand, even in the near future of some releasing that needs to happen. Okay. So that makes sense to me why, why right now, maybe the two of you are not coming together immediately. Okay. Yeah. We have the energy of abandoned. Somebody's having a really hard time um, leaving something because of their abandonment issues. They don't want to hurt somebody. They don't want to feel badly about something. So I'm really picking up this energy that people are having a really difficult time with guilt. They're having a hard time leaving something that doesn't serve because of their own issues with abandonment. They have old wounds here that are tied to abandonment. I'm also getting for some that if there are no third party situations, and I mean like other people adding to the like the karmic lessons for us this is our own energy that we're dealing with okay whatever it is it definitely is a releasing of old heartache and sadness and old wounds that no longer serve and abandonment for some reason is highlighted here so we have to basically be able to realize moving forward that our partner isn't abandoning us it is an ascension process so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys this card again so you guys can understand what i'm saying here let me just find it really quick. This energy of walking away. Eight of Cups is for evolving. So even if somebody is moving on and withdrawing, it's for evolution purposes, you guys. So really try not to see something as somebody's abandoning me, staying harsh in the energy or staying you know, in that hard energy, that harsh energy of heartache. 
Really try to get through this and see things from a different perspective. Try not to focus on what you don't have at the moment. That's five of cups. Really try to focus on that those cups that are still standing in front of you rather than focusing on what's been lost or what's happening that's hurting your heart at this particular time. So Spirit is saying here that moving forward in the near future, it does look like, yes, people are going to be recognizing something here, but we're also have, going to have to recognize that we are responsible for our own feelings. And when someone triggers us, it triggers us it's our responsibility to figure out why am I feeling this way toward, towards this person because of their actions. You know, it's not always because someone's doing it to us. We have to understand that a lot of our wounds, a lot of our traumas are tied up. And so when people do certain things or say things or make certain moves, it triggers that. And then it triggers the response to blame that person when really we need to take responsibility for why we're feeling this way in the first place and how we don't want to be victims anymore. We don't want to be in the energy of laying on the floor as a victim. It already came up here, you guys. We don't want to be in this energy anymore. We're, that's done. It's an old story. It's outdated, you guys, and no longer serves. Let's throw it in the fucking trash and not cling to it any longer. Okay? So that's it. So let's now move forward into a message from your spirit team and spirit guides to close up the reading. This one right here is called the Sufi Wisdom Oracle Cards. So we'll get three. Three messages from your spirit team, spirit guides, angels, the universe for you specifically person watching this video we have listened to advice it says cultivate i'm sorry guidance is needed to cross cross the ocean of life so right now the advice that you're being given perhaps by you know uh, your higher self your spirit guides uh, people around you people that you respect this is something that um, would be good for you to take that um, guidance and that advice in order to cross this ocean that you're currently experiencing perhaps so it's something about trust, way of faith. Let faith be your guide. So at the end of the day, it really does revolve around faith. A lot of people, you know, want to know when, how, why, if something's going to happen. But it really just comes down to faith. It's kind of like you cannot prove. You can't prove with maybe physical evidence certain things such as love or even the evidence of spirit. So it's all comes down to faith. So let faith be your guide when it comes to your journey right now, when it comes to your connection. Okay. So also what I'm getting to is listen to advice, but take it with a grain of salt. At the end of the day, you make your own way. Trust your faith and higher self and intuition at the end of the day above anything else that you hear outside of yourself. I am getting that too and silencing the mind. Let silence guide you to your inner peace. So it's about uh, just really taking some time to be quiet. Maybe turn off the TV, turn off the radio, turn off YouTube, you know, whatever it is, it's time to silence the mind to kind of get back to your higher self, which knows best. It's about connecting to the divine. And when we're connected to the divine, our faith is high. And we can't go wrong when, they're, when we're in that energy because we are living our highest truth and we are being guided every step of the way. Beautiful energies, you guys. So I hope that that resonated with you. If it did not, you guys can always choose number two or just choose not to take the messages this week. Totally up to you. All right, take care. All right, you guys, so if you chose number two, Archangel Michael, tough as nails, number two. I think I said that already. This is going to be for those of you that are in a separation, no contact, uh, pretty major challenges within a connection, and you're not really sure whether or not you will maybe even speak to this person or reconcile, but you're still on this journey of um, healing from this connection, and you're still drawn to it for whatever reason, and so we're going to get the energies today for those of you that fall into that category. So let's take a look and see. What is your overall energy this week? We're going to go into my spirits of darkness and light for this. So what is your overall, I'm sorry, your person's overall energy? I want to start there. Where's your person's overall energy this week? Where's your person's overall energy this week when it comes to life in general? Let's take a look. This is the one that wants to come up. Spirit of the wolf. Wow. I feel like this came up in one of the recent readings that I did, and I can't remember which one it was. 
Um, I've been doing a lot of readings lately, like ridiculous amount of readings, which has just been a lot of fun, but I can't remember now which one this came up with. But anyways, we've got Spirit of the Wolf. You're dealing with somebody who's in a loner energy, but the thing is, the Spirit of the Wolf is somebody who's learning to take care of themselves. It's a major independent energy. Now, it can sometimes um, seem like it's harsh, but actually it's not. It's a very strong energy that this person holds at this particular time. So I'm actually really digging that energy. But let's go ahead and get some specifics on how they're holding your energy this week, where they're at at this particular time. So what I just realized here is that when I was doing number one, I dropped some cards on the floor. So I just need to grab these real quick and put them back in because I didn't need them for the rest of that reading, but I will need them for this one. So let me just get these real quick. Oh, geez. Like they're so slippery because they're somewhat new. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let me knock them up, get them nice and clear. It's a good way to get rid of any kind of energy that's on the cards is to give them a good knock. All right, here we go. So what is this person's energy when it comes to you? When they're thinking about you, thinking about the connection. What does this energy look like currently? This right here is the Begin Within Divine Partnership Oracle deck. And we're going to combine it with the My Spiritual Love Tarot. What is this person's energy in with you this week? Let's get it. Okay. Mentally, where are they at with you? Ooh, reconciliation, you guys. Please forgive me. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, that might be really difficult for some of you guys to... Um, I just wanted to also apologize if you guys are hearing um, some kind of... Um, some kind of uh, loud noises outside. It's because I'm getting my house painted right now. So the, the people are outside. Okay. Reconciliation, please forgive me. Hmm. So your person is thinking about something. They're thinking about how they are sorry, or perhaps how they would like to say, I, I'm sorry, and, and please forgive me. That doesn't mean that they will, but it the energy is here while they're alone, and they're thinking about this. They're thinking about something from the past connected to you. Three of Wands, progress awaiting results. But see, the thing is, this Three of Wands energy is a card of waiting, not really taking action. So it, they're tossing it around back and forth in their mind of saying they're sorry, wanting to reconcile. They're thinking about it while they're alone. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and get their heart space energy with you. Oh my God, they are consumed right now in their heart space. You know, again, this isn't to give anybody false hope. Just because this energy comes out doesn't really guarantee that you will hear from this person, but maybe it will be healing for you at this time to know that this person is consumed by some sort of feeling connected to you. Hmm. Wow, they're consumed with trying to figure out what to do. The determination, the courage that it would take, the motivation that it would take perhaps to reconcile and reach out to you. I mean, they're, I feel like they're almost getting some signs from spirit perhaps to reconcile with you, to reach out to you. And it's actually pretty overwhelming. Um, but again, they're waiting for something. They're not quite sure if now is the right time. They're maybe perhaps waiting for a sign. That's just what I'm getting like from you or maybe waiting for another sign from the universe. I mean, I know of a situation right now where I'm just kind of like, gosh, you know, I really want to do something, but there's this fear where I just, I am unable to move forward at this time. And I am waiting for a particular sign in order to do it. And so I totally resonate with that message for sure. Let's go ahead and get some energies here of the outer world. Okay, the outer world is shadow box. So they're dealing with some sort of shadows here. Oh, look at this, you guys. My God, this person is really in their headspace and their shadows when it comes to you in this connection. Like they've got some stuff going on. They might have undergone a, like a nightmare situation and they've maybe got some anxiety and depression going on right now, which is why they're in this loner wolf spirit. So they're just really needing to lick their wounds. That's what I'm getting here. Like a wolf, lick their wounds and and heal and get through this dark, shadowy time right now. I mean, they're fighting. Look at this boxer. They're fighting it. So 
that might be one of the reasons why they're starting to think about you again is because they've been brought to their knees. Sometimes it takes a person that especially has either been on top for a while or things have been going really well and so you haven't heard from them or they haven't really ever issued an apology for you or to you. Sometimes it takes a person to fall to their knees, to get smacked down by life, to go, whoa, and then realize that, you know what, maybe they didn't have it all together like they thought they did. Maybe they didn't have all the answers. Maybe they really acted like an asshole, you know? So the thing is, sometimes when life smacks us down, it really humbles us and we really start to think about all the things that we've done and where we might have gone wrong and how we might have treated other people. And I do see that this person is really heavily thinking about it at this time. I don't know if it's just particularly this week for some specific reason, um, because it's Thanksgiving, it's the holiday time, I don't know. But there's there's definitely an energy here where they're really feeling your energy this week. Like, seriously. So what is their soul, spiritual energy connected to you? Oh my God. Re being grateful. Seeing your worth. Seeing you in a whole new light. Being grateful. I mean, we can even see this person's like praying. Please forgive me. I mean, th this energy is definitely here for them. For sure. What does this gratitude have to do with? Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, I'm feeling that this person has, oh, like has, is or has undergone some sort of a self-love initiation. And now they have something to offer. This is like, could be an apology. They want to offer something because they're, they're in a state of grace now. They weren't before. Again, they've been brought to their knees. And so because of this energy, it's like now they want to reconcile these differences with you. And may maybe they're just on that journey right now to where they're wanting to reconcile differences with everyone they've done wrong to. And you happen to be a part of that. So deep soul searching introspective mode for this individual. And they're heavily in your energy this week amongst other stresses. But you're a part of that. You're a part of that. Hmm. Well, so uh, let's go ahead and see where you're at with their energy. The person watching this video, where are you? Where are you? Just overall, this is going to be your overall independent energy. So let's see. What do we got here? Your overall energy. Oh, my. We have the demon spirit, tormented fear and shadow self. So you're, you and this person are mirroring each other. Um, definitely. You're in an energy where you're thinking about them heavily. Maybe you didn't think about them for a while, then all of a sudden, bam, it's like their energy's back. Why is their energy back? This almost goes, this almost connects to my, uh, my lost love reading that I just did. It's like num people that chose number two. You might have really resonated with that reading. Anyways, it's not to try to connect everything, but that's just what I'm feeling here. You're suddenly tormented by this person's energy again. Your fears are coming up. Some shadows are coming up and you're just like, fuck, why am I in this energy again? The reason why, you guys, just like it came up in the last 12 reading is because this person is in your energy and so you're picking this shit up. That's what it is. Oh my. All right, so let's go ahead and go into this energy for you this time. Uh, what is your energy tied up with them? What is your energy tied up with this person? Renewal. Wow. <laughs> Um, your thoughts are kind of being revived. Uh, you're also being given an opportunity to renew how you see this person and the situation. Something is being restored. Yeah, before you were defending it, you were putting your guard up to it. You didn't want to feel it. You didn't want to think about it. And then all of a sudden now, these emotions are flowing once again. So this is happening for a reason. There's something that needs to be understood about this connection. There's something that you need to still heal or learn from this connection. So really try not to fight it, you guys. Embrace it. And I think it's really interesting that I'm going to connect the cards now here look at that we have two boxers one on their end one on your end you guys are mirroring each other there's a mirroring going on in this connection you guys are both feeling fearful you guys are both feeling the shadows you guys are both going through something pretty major right now most definitely so what's happening in your heart space oh my gosh <laughs> it might be that you're like 
Not that you're finally coming this, to this realization, maybe you have always understood this, but you're starting to maybe really accept that this is a divine partnership. Now, does a divine partnership, twin flame, soulmate, does that guarantee success? Nothing's guaranteed in life, at least that's my opinion, okay? But the thing is, you're starting to realize that this is an important partnership in your life, whether you're with this person speaking to them or not. They are important. There's a reason why your energy is still attached to them, and you might be trying to make peace with this instead of tormenting yourself with this energy. Yep, the moon. There is some kind of a, uh, a mystery it's a very deep connection, I'll tell you that, with the moon's energy. The moon does bring up our fears, but the moon also is about our subconscious. It's about, you know, dreaming. It's about um, higher consciousness connections. I mean, it it's definitely a deep energy, okay? Your, your energy always seems to be tied to them. Um, but again, this person is mirroring you. So I feel like the reason that you're thinking about them again suddenly or that you're just like really hard in their energy right now is because you're sensing your spirit, your energy is sensing that they're connecting to you in a very deep way right now. And so in a way, it's kind of like you guys are doing some shadowy um, purging at this time. You know, they're, they're, they're going through something perhaps that maybe you went through. And so because you're so energetically connected to them, you're actually feeling their shit. You're, I mean, I mean you're, like you're feeling their stuff. You're feeling this crap that they're purging. And so some of you guys might be going through some sadness or some fears of your own or some darkness. Realize though that a lot of this is your own person's energy. So really try to, in a way, put a healthy boundary up with this because as empaths, sometimes we end up taking on the brunt of the inner energy of the entire connection, and we don't know how to separate ourselves. And I don't have all the answers as to how to do that because I still have to navigate my own journey. I can give advice sometimes, but not always take it. That's just the beautiful thing. <laughs> um, but anyways, my point is is that we are all here learning together, and you know whatever feels healthy to you, whether that be taking a relaxed hot bath, maybe uh, listening to different music to kind of shift the vibration so that way it's not so harsh or sad, things like that, you know, it, it's, it's about just trying to really separate the energies in a healthy way. And I feel like there's a need to do that because someone's energy is like, it, it, it's, it's creeping into your energy field. And so a lot of the things that you're feeling right now are actually your partner's not yours. Hmm. All right. Environment, outer world standing alone. Um, deep. Okay. First of all, you guys are not together. This is just being confirmed. It's not even being, it's not only being confirmed in your reading, but it's also confirmed in their reading. Someone is alone. They're standing alone. Okay. Now that might be they're standing alone and you're standing alone, or it could just be that both of you guys just feel alone. Maybe you're not, maybe there are karmic partners involved. That's okay too. But deep down inside people feel perhaps on their own. They're not together in this connection. They're not with their, their counterpart is my point. They're not with this person that they feel this, this divine connection with. So in the environment, people are standing alone. I'm also getting to, for you, the person watching this video, that you know that they have to stand alone for a period of time. You know that they need to be on their own and find themselves, most definitely. You see them as standing alone. And what does this do? This standing alone allows for people to plan for their future and to make decisions. So you know deep down right now that your person is either needs to stand alone before they can make a move towards you or that's where they're in right now. You know that they're alone and you know that they are in this energy. And why do you know this? Because you're, it's like you're telepathically connected to them. You're picking up on their, their emotions. You're picking up on their, their, I'm not saying like your mind reading, but you're picking up on their energy. Like you know what's going on with them because you're so connected. So you know that they have to make a decision and it's interesting because what is the energy that they're in? They're in three of wands. You know that they are waiting and they're planning their next move to ask for forgiveness. You know this deep down in your heart. All right, you guys, what's going on on a soul level, soul energy? What's the soul energy here? Oh, we have... <laughs> All right, the appearances card. Not always what you see is what is really happening. That only, I mean, I, as a matter of fact, just something that I'm thinking of right now that actually is not connected to like a, 
you know, like a divine partnership. It's something else. But I just was thinking, gosh, people, if they, you know, the appearances are completely different than how I'm really feeling deep down inside. But the thing is, people buy it. People buy the appearance all the time. Well, this person must hate me because they did this or they did that. When really, deep down inside, that's not the case. But the thing is, appearances say otherwise. So sometimes what you see isn't really what's happening. <laughs> so the energy here is you might see certain things that are going on with them and you know that there's some deep layer going on here. You know that there's a deeper layer going on here. It may even be that there's appearances in your life that you're keeping up with, but deep down inside, that's obviously something else is going on. Mm -hmm. Masculine. So if you're a feminine watching this video, this is an energy here of um, you seeing your masculine as somebody who is just trying to keep up with appearances and trying to keep up the, with the status quo. You know that's kind of maybe where they're still lost. They're still, it's like they had to learn a lesson the hard way. They had to get everything that they wanted just to lose it, just to figure out what they don't want you know, and just kind of go through this like major spiritual transformation. It's also an energy too. You might be spending time with the masculine or something like that. Um, you know, this is an energy here where you're keeping up certain appearances. That could be it. So there's always the, the chance that some people that are connecting to these readings are in other relationships. And that's just a part of connections, you guys. And um, I've had people make comments such as, you know, a divine connection would never have a third party situation. Again, I'd like to see a Bible on divine connections that shows me the rules on what can happen and what can't happen. Haven't seen it, doesn't exist. Shut up. So that's how I feel about it. So anyways, um, who knows? Just take it as it resonates with you, but there is what we have. So let's go ahead and continue. So let's now see for the connection at this particular time, what is this energy as far as what's blocking, what are the lessons, what's brewing, that sort of thing. So we're going to go into the what's brewing cards in this connection. So what's being brewed right now in this connection and what shadow seems to be coming up the most for this connection at this time? This is my Twin Flame Shadows deck. Let's get a shadow here. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. We can see a lot of stuck energy where people are really thinking and feeling, but they are not doing anything. They're not making a move. They're not doing anything. So what's brewing behind all of this non-action energy here in this connection? What's the deal? Oh, we have this energy. I don't want to get kicked to the curb. We, knowing they fucked up. Oh my God, it came over. Okay, so this is the deal. Why are people not taking action? Because there is a definitely a brokenheartedness. Game over. Somebody knows that they did something. Maybe this person kicked you to the curb or you kicked them to the curb. And why? Because they know that they fucked up. Somebody fucked up. That's just the bottom line. They don't or they do know that that happened. So they almost feel like game over. You wouldn't want to hear from them again or the thing is, even if they did kick you to the curb and they know that they screwed up now, it's kind of like they don't know how to put the pieces back together. They might even feel like the game's over for, for um, that the game is over for you. And so what I mean by that is, look, let's just say you, you're looking at the situation and you're feeling like, oh my gosh, even though they know they screwed up, they know they fucked up and they kicked me to the curb. I think that it's too late. So there is this energy here that you guys are both sharing where you guys might see that there's too much water under the bridge. There's too many things that have happened. There's no way that you guys can repair it. So the, the energy is stuck right now, okay? The energy is stuck right now in this connection. And that's why it doesn't seem to be moving forward. But as you can clearly see, people are in deep thought about this connection and there's a lot of stuff that's happening right now. So I just feel like it's a lesson right now for people to really sit in their feelings and really be alone in order to figure out what they want. Do they want to put the pieces back together or are they too afraid? Time will tell. That's it. That is the energy. Okay, so let's continue. All right, now we're going to go into what is your person's higher self to you at this particular time, okay? What is their higher self message to you? We're going to go into the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle by Aqua Moonlight. We're going to three cards. Three cards as a topic, and then we're going to grab some other cards we have pretend. Okay, again, you guys, I'm telling you, there is some sort of an energy here about appearances. Some, It's just a bluff. That's it. It's just a bluff. The way that something appears, it's not true. Okay. 
You might see this person has either, let's just say, moved on, doesn't care, never thought about you again. It's false. And they might also see you as somebody that doesn't give a shit about them because either you moved on or whatever. But that's also false. It's also false. If I can talk. We have apprehensive. Again, people are very apprehensive with moving forward. They're very guarded, <laughs> cautious, afraid. Oh, yeah, it's all coming up again. And we have shattered because too much shit has happened. <laughs> I can't believe this reading. Because too much has happened. Look at this. Damaged, broken hearted, destroyed. Game over. Knowing somebody fucked up. So all this energy is tied to your person. Do you see how it's all coming up? I can't make it up. There it is. So let's go ahead and connect some words with these cards, okay? So let's go ahead and go into... Let's see. Let's go into... I'm going to use this deck for this one and I'm going to use, so this is the Hidden Truth Oracle Cards by All Things Intuitive. My Twin Flame Messages Volume 1 for this one and number 2 is going to be for Apprehensive. So when it comes to pretend, mask, exaggeration, bluff, pretending, what does this person want you to know from their higher self about this energy? What do they want you to know and understand? You speak to me through music. Wow. Okay. So there could be a specific message here where there's certain songs that they're hearing or certain music that you're listening to and you're feeling something, your emotions are coming out and literally it is you being authentic. It's like hearts speaking to one another, even though there's all this energy that exists between the two of you, this veil, this pretending that you guys have forgotten about each other, or that you've, you know, you, you, you're mad or you never want to speak again. Your hearts are speaking. You can't, you can't control that. So we can put on our masks in the material world. We can put up our guards all day long, but our hearts are speaking to each other through vibration. You cannot stop it. So they're telling you that they are picking up on your energy. They're feeling you while they're listening to music, even though they're pretending either that they don't care or that you don't even exist, okay? Or while you're in that energy. So apprehensive, guarded, cautious, and afraid. What is this energy? What do they want to tell you about being ap apprehensive, cautious, guarded, and afraid? What does your person want to tell you? Oh, they are telling you, I will make things right between us one day. So even though they are too afraid right now to do this, even though they are too afraid to issue this apology to you, they are telling you, I will make things right between us one day. That's their plan. So in their heart of hearts, they know, even though they're not coming forward now, they know that that's what they want to do. They want to come towards you one day. That one day, <laughs> could be a while, but one day they want to make things right. And it says, I will not, I, I might, I will make things right between us one day and shattered. What is this energy of shattered? Oh, I know I screwed things up and I honestly have no idea how to fix it. <laughs> this, this reading is too much this week. I, look, see? I know I screwed things up and I honestly, I don't even know how the hell to put it back together. I mean, that's where your person's at. They feel like there's just too much that's been destroyed. Too much damage has been done. So they, they don't know how to come back. That's where they're at right now with you guys. But continue to speak to your person through music because they're feeling it. They're hearing it. They're, they're, they're getting you when you're thinking about them while you're listening to music or when whatever words you're exchanging in your heart space and in your mind, they're picking up on it during when you're listening to music. Okay. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and see what is the most important thing that spirit wants you to know or consider about this connection for the purpose of it and the healing. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Where am I? What do I want to do? Oh, here we go. So we're going to use this deck right here. This is my spirit signs from spirit love oracle. This right here is reclaim your power cards by Anthea Spark. This is the when spirit speaks by medium on a mission, Heather Falona and all things intuitive messages of love oracle cards. What is the most important thing spirit wants you to know at this time when it comes to lessons and healing for your connection? Oh, we have something about the energy of knife sever. That's that dark energy. What about that? 
what is this energy here oh my gosh this is the divine masculine so the masculine has actually come up two times so far okay so this tells me that there's definitely an energy here that's attached to the the masculine that is responsible for severing the ties in this connection so whether or not you cut things off, whether or not um, you cut things off because of things that have happened, ultimately, and this is not to blame a masculine, I hear that sometimes, it's just ridiculous, but somebody's energy is responsible for severing ties. And I am getting here that the masculine person in this connection wants to take responsibility for their actions. That's it. They want to take responsibility for their actions. So spirit wants you to understand that you guys watching this video. And that might be one of the reasons why a lot of the apology and reconciling is coming through this reading as in they want to, but they're afraid. Oh, see, look at that. No. And let's get this last message to tie it all up. Oh my gosh. Look at this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this just proves where your masculine is at. The decision that he has made is that he does not want to sever this, but at the same time, he is having a difficult time making a decision on whether or not to take responsibility for his actions. It's time to make a decision about this relationship, okay? It's time to make a decision about this relationship. There's a big no here, okay? No as in, I can't. I can't sever this tie. I've tried to sever this tie. I want to take responsibility or I know I need to take responsibility, but I can't do it. The masculine is very tied up right now in this energy of darkness and this energy of trying to come to some sort of a peaceful conclusion. So that's why the masculine's energy this week is so heavy because there's a lot of deep, deep, deep things that are happening here. A lot of this darkness that came through the beginning of the reading here, being in the shadow box, you know, climbing up that hill, being consumed with that nine of swords energy, nightmares, depressed anxiety, it's all coming up here. So what the, the, the most important thing that spirit wants you to understand and know is that right now, even though the masculine might not be making any effort to come towards you and not making any, taking responsibility for the actions that have been uh, done or taken that doesn't mean that he does not feel badly about what's happened so that's the most important thing that spirit wants you to understand and know that's what i'm getting wow you guys what a um what a heavy reading what a heavy reading intense so now let's go ahead and see what are the possible future energies of this connection we're going to go into my twin flame journey tarot and combine it with my twin flame oracle what are some possible future energies of this connection? So even though the masculine is not able to make any action or take any responsibility as in issuing you that apology, what does the possible future energies hold or look like? Okay, so what Spirit is saying as far as the action that's going to be taken is somebody is just still going to choose to be in the loner spirit. It doesn't surprise me at all, which is why the no just came up. It's because Spirit's telling you here that this masculine isn't uh, choosing at this time to take any action towards you. Still taking some time for independence. Still taking some time to be on their own with the Nine of Pentacles. And that's okay because Nine of Pentacles always comes up when we do need to take more time for self-care. So the action right now that's being taken in the future with this connection is people working on themselves. I know that that might sound, you know, crappy to hear for some, but that's just what we're getting here in this reading today. We have the energy of barrier because there's still a door here. There's still a barrier here. Mm -hmm. Ten of wands. There's still something that needs to cycle through. Do you see? And early on, it already came up in the reading with this nine of wands energy here. See? Determined to get to the end of a cycle to let something go. So there's still an energy of burden. Now the burdens card came up when I did the lost love reading the other day. So I really feel like the lost love reading is connected to this one in some ways that I just did. 
but that's the barrier. There's still some sort of a barrier that needs to be gone through or uh, gotten through. People still have burdens that they're carrying that they need to release. So whether that's you or your person or the both of you, there's still some sort of cycle that needs to take place first. Or there's a burden in someone's way. And until they clear this burden, they can't take action. And that burden may be guilt. That burden may be shame. That burden may be fear, shadow. It needs to be gone through. So it seems like not much is happening until that is cleared up. Yeah, see what did I just say? I said fear. There it is. Fear is the, the barrier here. That's what's holding this person back from you. This is what's holding this masculine, what I'm picking up on in this reading, from coming towards you. Fear. So spirit just wants you to understand and know that that still seems to be a theme even in the near future. So again, this is some more time on someone's own before they can get to a better space. So as far as severing it, okay, I don't see that they want to sever it. No, I don't want to sever tithes, but I still am needing to take time to make a decision about this relationship. They still need to take time so they can take responsibility and do what it takes in order to move forward. Like a, you know, like a, with a masculine energy to take action. Masculine energy is action oriented. So in order for them to take action, they still need to figure something out on their own. So it's all tying together. All right, you guys, so that's it for this uh, reading. We're going to get um, in the messages here with this advice from spirit, your angels, your spirit guides, the universe. This is the Sufi wisdom oracle. What is your wisdom for this week? Some advice. Time to play. Make time to dance and play. So again, despite all this heavy energy, you still have to make time to enjoy your life. You can't be consumed with this connection. You can't be consumed with what your partner is doing or not doing. You just still have to make time to live your life and enjoy it and play. We have slow down to relax, break to enjoy the beauty around you. So again, maybe some of you guys are working really hard. I know I am. And sometimes I don't slow down enough to relax, but that's what next week is for me. I am off. And so it doesn't mean I'm gonna not post readings or anything on YouTube, but it just means as far as doing personal readings, I did take that time off for myself to allow myself some time to play. And last message, the energy of love. Behold the world through the eyes of love. Beautiful. So at the end of the day, it is about the energy of love. It's about holding your partner in that energy of love, holding yourself in that energy of love, being in that energy of love for the planet as a whole. Like attracts like. It's that energy. It's high vibrational. It attracts more of that abundance of love to you. So it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. All right, you guys, I hope you resonated with the messages this week. If you didn't, there's always next week. All right, I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. If you celebrate, take care. Bye-bye.